All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, Church Cat here with another video. Uh, so today we're going to be doing um, some house raising chords. Uh, so for those of you who don't know what house raising is, uh, basically it's like when you're in a, a moment of praise and you're, you know, everybody's getting hyped, they're getting amp, and these are just sometimes they're called preacher chords, um, but they go by different names, preacher chords, uh, house raising chords, high praise. It just depends on what you want to call it. Uh, cause it's the same. They're all really the same per se. You can, you can use them interchangeably, but specifically house raising is designed to kind of like lift the energy up in the crowd. So we're going to get into some of those chords today, but first off, shout out to all of the new subscribers, everybody who's been joining the channel. I really appreciate you guys. You guys are phenomenal and amazing. And um, I hope that you all continue to enjoy the content uh, that I'm putting out. So we're going to be in the key of A flat. Uh, so, uh, so I'm going to show you a sequence. Uh, so in the key of A flat, we have the one, which is A flat, the two, which is B flat, the three, which is C. Uh, the four, which is D flat, the five is E flat, F is the six, G is the seven, and then back to the one, right? So what I'm going to show you guys is a sequence going from the three to the four, up to the five. I mean, uh, this would be, so this is not in the scale. This would be, uh. Some people will call it sharp four because you're going up. Some people will call it flat five if you're going down. I'm going to call it, uh, we're just going to say it's the sharp four, right? So three, four, sharp four, which is D, and then the five, and then the one. That's it, right? So I'm going to show you, and then, yeah, we're going to go to the one. So I'm going to show you two ways that you can play each chord. So. First way would be, so let's say we're house raising. Right? Right? That's the first way. Uh, that's the first way I'm going to show you. the first one so we start off with this uh c7 sharp nine sharp five chord uh it is basically the way you want to think about it is um because there's different ways people play this to play it like this too but typically uh let's say if uh and let me let me turn my pads off so you guys can I turn my microphone off. Hold on, so you guys can hear. Okay. So this right here is a C7 sharp nine sharp five. Uh, basically, you're just gonna do octave C in your left hand. You're gonna play this E, this A flat, B flat, and this E flat, and that's your first chord on the three. So after you you get from the one, I'm gonna go here. You go up to the three, this is a D flat nine. Um, there's different ways to play this as well. But all you're really doing, and this is this is the way I learned it first, because all you're really doing is in your right hand, you're just moving uh, these notes up a half step. So from this right here, so you're just moving these two fingers a half step that's all you're doing and if you listen that's a tritone there so that gives the four its churchy sound see tritone so it gives that it gives the four chord that churchy sound then you go up to a diminish you can voice this basically any way you want as long as it's a, a d diminished it doesn't matter if it's here I just do it here just because it's right next door right 
And then the last chord is another one of these uh, sharp nine, sharp five chords. Uh, so basically, octave E flat in the left hand, G, B, D flat, uh, and G flat, right? And then back to your one, which the one is, is this is an A flat sus, A flat 13. That's, that's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> so basically, you're just going to do octave, well, not octave, you're going to do uh, A flat, E flat, and um, uh, G flat in your right, I mean, your left hand, in your right hand. See, now I've talked about this in previous videos where you use your thumb, the, you use the, um, the length of your thumb to stretch across two notes. So you're, good, you're definitely going to need that here, right? So it's going to be A flat, B flat, uh, D flat, F, A flat. Right? Or you can just do it like this if that's easier for you. Or, you know, you don't necessarily have to hit that middle one because you already have the A flats on either end. Right? And what you're going to do is you're going to go into a diminished chord here. So you go diminished, A flat diminished, back to this uh, A flat chord. And so uh, let me turn my um, my pads back on. So you hear that? You hear how it sounds? And I like to reach the bass down here because if you're by yourself, it fills it up better. Now that's the first way you can play these. Oh, let me turn these pads back off. That's the first way you can play these. Now, the second way, um, which I'd argue is eh, slightly more professional, um, would be, so you do your one, right? Actually, let me let me turn the pads back on actually, because I, I want you guys to hear this. So this is what I would, say is uh the more professional way to, to play these chords so uh the one they go to your your uh that's your three that's your four that's your sharp four that's your five and then back to your one uh so you can do that So this is the this is the this is another way to play these chords. So there's your three, there's your four, there's your sharp four, there's your five, and there's your one. See that? All right. So let's let me turn these. All right. So let's talk about those. So. This three is, is different from this one here. It's a little more expanded um, than the first one. Same thing with this four. The four is only different because it's a different inversion because before you were playing it here, but now instead of playing it here, you, you're playing it up here. So instead of playing this down here, you just switch. This is what I normally do to, to teach myself the different like inversions and stuff. I'll start off in whatever the root position is, right? And then I'll go, I'll just take one note at a time and move it over. So, cause it's the same notes. It's still, a, it's, go, it's still gonna be a F, A flat, B, and an E flat, no matter where you go, right? It's still the same notes. And so then I'll take it again and then put it up here. Now, the reason why I say this is the more professional way is because like, let's say if you have like the pads I have on, if you have those going, you want to have that one going, right? You know? And you want to, you want to keep. 
keep that one going because that's going to, especially like if you're going to do this on organ, uh, you know, you want to have that organ, you know, that organ sound. I have organ sounds, but I'm not going to use them. But you want to, that, that, that gives it a, a that, that feel, you know what I mean? So, uh, A flat seven over C, um, or you could play this. Um, this is what I would play over the one, two. Well, this is the, this is the same chord we're playing over the one, but you're, you're just playing it fully in this hand. So, so I'll show you this one. Um, so still same note in left hand, right hand's going to be G flat, C, E flat, A flat, right? Or instead of playing this E flat, you can play this F. That's up to you. <laughs> That's completely up to you. Whatever you think sounds better. So four, we already went through that. Uh, this diminish, instead of playing it down here, like the first time, you just move it up. That's how you do it. Because remember, we want to keep our we want to keep our uh, A flat going. And then this chord. Now, I've played this chord before. Uh, when I was doing talk music in uh, key of C. Let me see uh, D flat. You know, that's my two chord in the key of uh, D flat. It's my six chord in the key of uh, G flat. this case is going to be our five chord in the key of a flat and that's <clears throat> that's a little little sidebar with that the chords that you learn they are not specific to just the key you can use these chords in any context uh, for example just just because we're on it this chord that we played this chord right here would be my if I was in the key of um, if I was in the key of uh, D flat, right? Like, if I wanted to do a, a, a seven, three, six, I can do that. You know? And it's, it's the same kind of chord, really. See? Right? And that's in the key of D flat. So you can use these chords anywhere. So don't, I'm, I'm showing you the chords for this lesson, but always keep in mind, whatever chords I show you, you can use them anywhere. So anyway, uh, going back. So we did this, we did this, we did that. Now we're on this chord. Now, what this is, is <clears throat> it's a stretch in your left hand. You're basically gonna, it's a, that, that same trick I always do in my videos where I play the chord, but I stretch it out. So instead of playing an E minor down here, I take the three, put it up here, right? Same thing, and then with my thumb, same thing I was saying earlier, use your thumb to play two notes at the same time. And this is actually the same chord that we had played on our one. Same chord. See that? So you learn. So like you that 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 one this one chord right here can be used in so many different ways, right? So uh, same thing. So A flat, B flat, D flat, F, A flat, and then back to your one. Now. This is the same kind of chord I was saying you could do over the C. So your three, right? So in your left hand, you're going to be doing an A flat, and G flat, and then this is basically the chord you're going to resolve to, but you're starting off, you're rolling into this F from this E flat.
cool. So let's put the pads back on and let's see how it sounds. <laughs> my diminished chord a little fuller because that's just how I play it. You can play it like that if you want. And then, you know. And it's the same thing as this, but I just, I just left out the other notes. It's the same thing though. <laughs> same, same concept. Anyway, uh, so one more thing I'm going to show you is a two, five, one that you can do. And you're going to, so the one's still the same and your five is still going to still be the same, but the two chord, we haven't learned the two chord yet. So I'm going to play it for you. Uh, right. Now that's a little bonus content. <laughs> like that too or play like that whatever however you however you want to play it it's up to you um so what i did was i rolled from so i rolled from the e flat to this f because it's da, da, da. that's the melody f a flat e flat b right so i'm rolling into that immediately so this is another one of those chords that another one of those chords right just like this one but I'll show you guys that movement later but see that so B is a so that's a B D A flat D G flat B, and this is for more. Um, this is for more advanced players. My bad, play the wrong chord. And you could do that with your drummer. You could be, you could tell the drummer, hey, uh, you know. Uh, Right, and and that could that could be something you and your drummer would do together, you and the bass player, you know, uh, you know, something like that. That's that's how I'd play it if I was by myself. If I well, that's if I had a bass player, but I'll show you guys that later. You know, that's something else you do. Uh, but that's another video. Anyway, <laughs> just a little bit of bonus content. Um, so, um, you know, hopefully you guys learned something with that. Um, and, uh, just some good house house raising. Anyway, <clears throat> so with that being said, please be sure to like, share, subscribe, all that great stuff. I really appreciate you guys. And I have a bunch of content on the way. Um, I really do. Um, and I'm going to be doing all this stuff in different keys for you guys, too. Uh, so anyway, uh, holla at you guys later.